Hey guys, welcome back to my channel LG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this modern typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. Then, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 10 second long and background color I am going to choose grayish color like this and hit ok and hit ok, then press ctrl y again and we have to choose same color like this, so it will automatically uh, choose this color and simply hit ok and hit ok so we will get this kind of color. Now select this layer, go to the effect and presets panel and search for CC vintage effect on it and simply double click to apply. So as you guys can see, you will get this kind of thing over here. Okay, now let's lock this layer because we don't need to animate this background layer. Now select your text tool and now I'll go over here and I'll delete the stroke and for the color, I'm going to choose this green, neonic green color and simply hit OK. And for the font, I'm going to choose Oswald and the medium version of this font. But uh, you can choose any color and any font you want. Now, uh, let's uh, type our text. I'm going to type modern. Then I'll type typography. Okay. And I'm choosing all of the uh, all of these letters as a caps. Then I'll increase the distance between this text. Then I'll also uh, increase the distance between this. I'll select this typography text only and I'll reduce the font size of this like this and let's bring this over here and adjust it like this okay now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this now this is going to be my main text so I'm going to select this and I, over here I'm going to choose this green color then select this and I'll hit ctrl D then I'll go to my character menu and I'll delete this fill and I'll choose the stroke and stroke color is same and let's hide this text we will only focus on our this stroke and for the stroke width I'm going to choose 5 pixels like this now select this right click create Go to the shape from text like this so it will create one sh shape uh, which has the stroke and stroke pixels i mean width is five pixels so we will delete this text which is our stroke and now we have one text with stroke and one is a shape layer now we will select this shape layer uh, the, for the first time i'm going to choose stroke width to one okay now uh, hit ctrl d to duplicate it choose stroke width to hit ctrl d to duplicate it stroke width 3 and again hit ctrl d and choose stroke width 4 hit ctrl d and choose stroke width 5 okay now select this fifth layer let's hide all of them then go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this in property 0 initially create one keyframe and go to around 4 second and let's make this 100 so if i see this over here i'll get this kind of animation then create one keyframe at offset go over here and let's make this 180 degree rotation so now along with this animation we will get this moving animation also okay and select only last keyframe and hit f9 or uh, let's select both the keyframes and hit f9 so if we hit play now we will get this kind of animation now go to the start select this stream path and hit ctrl c to copy the stream path select all of them uh, I mean unhide all of them and then select all of them and hit ctrl V Now we, I'll select this fifth layer and I'll hit page down button two times Then select this fourth layer and we will move this over here. We will follow this procedure again Again And again, so now uh, it will animate like a pointed stroke like this, okay? And if you want, then uh, you can uh, do one thing. You can go to the 5 seconds, select this, move this over here. I mean, you should take the gap of 5 5 frames. And then if I hit run, I'll get this kind of animation. 
okay so i'll go with that but you can choose the previous method also okay so now i'm going to select all of them and i'll press ctrl shift c to click on this and i'll polish this as stroke and hit okay okay uh, and then i'm going to click on this option and this option also which convert this layer into 3d now double click to open all of them i mean open the stroke only select all of them and convert this into 3d select this text layer now we have to focus on this animation of this text so now i'll go to the animate menu and i'll choose opacity so we are now going to deal with the opacity uh, instead of positions like all of my tutorials so initially i want zero opacity then i'll go to my end selector i'll click on the start then i'll go to around four seconds where my stroke animation is gonna end so i'll make this 100 so if i see this animation from one end i'll get something like this but this is like straightforward it's not uh, random so to get randomize this animation i'll go to advanced options and over here we will get this option called randomizer i mean randomizer maybe i don't know it's not a full text so let's forget it and all you need to do is simply enable this animation so now your text is gonna animate randomly and is high i'm going to move this 200 say select this animation we will get something like this okay now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if i see this animation now i will get something like this okay so text animation is also done now we have to play around with our camera but before that we need to adjust the proper timing of this so first i want this talk animation to start animate and then i want around 15 seconds our text animation should start to animate like this okay so if i see this animation properly i will get something like this now select this text and also convert this into 3d now i'm going to select the stroke layer right click go to the reveal and choose reveal layer source in project select the stroke and hit ctrl d to duplicate it double click to open this and select all of this first fourth layer and simply hit delete now we want only this stroke width uh, with uh, i mean with this uh, shape layer which has stroke width of one pixels now let's go to the main animation and we will select the stroke 2 and we will simply bring this over here like this and also convert this layer into 3d like this now let's go to the view modes and we will choose two horizontal modes like this we will select the strokes and we will bring this over here and press p so we can see the proper z position so it's minus 166 so let's make this minus 200 select this hit ctrl d press p let's make this minus 400 hit ctrl d press p let's make this minus 800 or what you can do to increase it by 200 200 or what you need to do simply hit ctrl d press p and all you need to do simply select this go over at the backward type minus 200 so it will automatically sum up this and come with the proper calculations so i'll type minus 200 again hit ctrl d press p go over here minus 200 again ctrl d select this hit ctrl d let's go over here type minus 200 again select this hit ctrl d press p go over here let's type minus 200 again okay hit u now select all this stroke two layers and uh, i think they are enough over here so let's go to the one view again so we will get something like this so if i hit play let's make this auto resolution so we will get something like this now go over here hit page down button two times alt close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok go zoom out and let's increase the, the size of this comp so we will get something like this okay now we if you see this uh, this looks quite uh, full of animations and stuff let's go inside the stroke 2 and over here instead of 1 i'm going to choose 0.5 for now so we'll get something like this but we don't even want this type of things now so let's go to the start and right click new and create one camera okay and angle of view make sure it's 39 and simply hit okay right click new and create one null object 
select this null object and convert this into 3D. Now select this camera and make it apparent with this null one. Select this null one, press R for rotation and go to around somewhere around 4 and create one keyframe and rotation. Press S, create one keyframe at scale and hit U. Okay, so now we can see all of them. And because this camera is parent with this null, if I rotate it, I'll get this kind of results. Okay, now let's go to somewhere around over here. Now we will rotate it on y axis, something like this. Then on x axis, like this. Okay, so let's make this plus 50, plus 40, and plus 10. Okay, so the readings are, I think for me it's okay now. So, and also we need to decrease the size, so it will zoom in somewhere around over here. Okay, this looks good to me. Now let's go to the start and select those keyframes and we need to move those keyframes over here. And choose third resolution because this is going to be some kind of heavy animations. Okay, so we'll get something like this. Now select all the keyframes and hit F9. So if I see this animation, I will get something like this. Now we will select this null object and we will press P for position, alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle expression on it over here and I am going to type 4 comma 4. So if I see this, I will around with this animation, I will get some wiggle animation also. So first I will get this and then I will get this. Now let's make this full resolution and let's see, we will still get this kind of stuff because we haven't enabled our depth of field. So now it's time for our last trick for this animation, we need to enable our depth of field. So let's select this camera and hit double on your keyboard to select the camera options and we will enable our depth of field. So now all of this thing are gonna blur. So now we have to adjust our focus distance. To, to adjust our focus distance properly, there is one method we can do. Now uh, if you know that our modern text uh, layer is in green color, so let's go to the to horizontal view like this. Over here, one is a top view and one is an active camera view. Now we will select this camera and if you see this camera over here, you will get this line over here. Now this line is our focus line. So now over and over here you will find if you select this text over here you can find this modern text. So now what you need to do you need to move this line of focus to our text which is over here. So for that what you need to do simply select your camera go to the camera options shortcut key is double A and you have to change the value until unless your line gonna touch that line which is our text. So I'm gonna move this line up to this when it's gonna touch this line. Okay. So now if you see the line is properly over here, it means now my camera is focusing on this green text which is over here. Okay. So our final output is over here. But uh, as you guys can see, these things are still visible because you need to increase the aperture value. If I choose this aperture value 200. So as you guys can see, we will get this kind of blurriness and now my text is properly visible. So let's make one view again. So over here, as you guys can see, we can see our text properly like this. So if I go to the start and if I play my animation, I will get this kind of animation because of full resolution, it's going to take time. So I'll run this in code resolution. So we will get this kind of animation over here and there is another thing you can do you can select all the stroke too let's go to the front view maybe or let's go to the left view you can select all of these layers you can hit ctrl d and you can bring them backwards also like this and let's bring this over here and now let's go to the active camera so now what will happen is that we will get some strokes at the backwards also like this so uh, yep this is gonna be my final animation for this and we'll get this kind of stuff and if you see this in full resolution we will get something like this and if you want you can simply go to the stroke width and you can instead of 0.5 you can choose 0.1 
uh, so we'll get a little bit thicker line thicker line like this and let's select this and let's make this 0.3 and let's see okay so yep this is how you will get this modern typography text animation so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned